shocking, right? Morning, Sunshine. I'm Robin Mead, and let's jump right into the day's top stories. A surprising twist. A key witness who Republicans were supposed to be monitoring Jeffrey Epstein in a cell were instead surfing for furniture or sports news on the job, say the prosecutors. The indictment. Okay, severe weather. Um, well, let's talk about first in Southern California, then for the folks who are probably up right now. Um, but PG&E, the power company there, is going to cut off the power for about 150,000 people. All righty, if you suffer from migraines, I'm sorry. But there is a new drug to treat them that is showing at least promise in clinical trials, so we can't get it. Okay, so I wonder, what is the difference between a visit being part of a, a routine physical, as he said, yep. or an interim checkup um, as the White House characterizes it. Yeah. Is there a difference? Are we splitting here, Sanjay? Well, no, I, I think there's a difference, and they recharacterized it this way. It's, it's interesting because uh, a routine physical, when you think about it, but then... But it is it, serious, the health of the commander-in-chief. If, 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 if it, it's the health of the commander-in-chief, but also if the doctors are not disclosed the results of that. He even sort of, sort of hedged when I first asked him, but you had to push to get information. That's not typically the way it is. You tell us what tests the president had, not what tests he didn't have, hmm. which is often what you hear here, from, what you hear from this memo from the uh, from the president. From the White so, House. is it a matter of transparency? Is it a matter of being um, honest? Or is it a matter of, hey, it's not federal law, I don't have to tell you? Well, that part is definitely true. They do not have to tell. Uh, there's no obligation. President, Dr. we're not Gu getting that here. All right. Dr. Gupta, good to see you. You too. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Don't go anywhere. Oh. So a TSA worker has received a life-saving kidney from a co-worker. More than two dozen people were...